I'm from Daytona Beach, Florida. I've been a cranial release practitioner for three years now. I work for Bethune-Cookman University Football as their muscle recovery specialist going on my fourth year and we just completed a study with the football players and other athletes at Bethune where in their treatment plan the only change that was made was bringing in massage therapy with the emphasis on cranial release technique. After the three-year study was completed, the, the results were amazing. Um, in three years, we have not had one player miss a game due to a muscle injury. And let me repeat that, that's zero in three years. It's all documented. Um, also with concussions, a player has not missed a game due to concussion in three years. Um, we have been using the cranial release on the field at the time of injury. So if a player is cramping, has a muscle strain, feels like he's gotten a concussion, it's done immediately on the sidelines at the time of the injury. Um, the other part of that study was done with a girls basketball team. Previous to me coming to Bethune-Cookman, the girls had 17 players on the, on the team. At the end of the year, only seven were available to play due to injury. Five of them had complete knee surgeries. The year that I worked with them, at the end of the season, all 17 girls were playing. Not one girl missed a game, and the five girls that had complete knee surgeries were playing and at full capacity. After that season, Due to budget constraints, I didn't work with the girls' basketball team, and they were riddled with injuries again. So the comparisons, you know, don't lie. And CRT has made a world of difference in the treatment plans with the athletes and with my own personal clients. And I would suggest anyone to at least further explore the cranial release technique. Thank you.